Hey drivers, this is Andrew at Third Coast RC in Houston and uh, we're here at our shop and um, we're going to take a look at uh, something that kind of special really. Um, this is a, um, a metal 4x4 pickup kit that, uh, that we have in stock now and this is, honestly it's a clone of a Tamiya Bruiser, that's what it is, a Tamiya Bruiser it's going to cost you about $800 for the kit. Um, I think this kit goes for about $250 and um, it comes with everything you need to build this truck here, which is really cool. It has a three speed transmission in it and it's a one temp scale crawler. Um, comes with this radio system that allows you to switch the transmission here on the controller, allows you to switch the transmission and uh, it is uh, branded as a Toyato, well actually it's a Toyota, um, so model of a Toyota and it's by HG is the company who makes this. Um, so I built this one from a kit, I painted the body blue because I think the colour blue looks really good and it's kind of similar to what the original was. You will see some of these online all ready to run but um, I don't particularly like those because they come with very cheap uh, internals to them, cheap servos and things like that. We went a little bit further with this one. So we take the body off here. The body is beautifully decaled, beautifully set up with these chrome uh, steps. You know, you've got a sticker set that goes on here. The um, chrome mirrors, it's got the chrome cab cover here. Um, and it looks real nice inside the truck. We've got a front mount, mounted engine, uh, a heavy gearbox here. We're running it on a 2S LiPo that you can run it on a 7.2 nickel metal hydride. It's got these uh, cool shocks with the boots on them, front and rear. It's got leaf spring suspension, uh, front and rear, as well as the uh, as, as a shock. So the spring in it, the, the bounce is removed by the springs and then the springs are controlled by these uh, by these shocks here, the leaf springs. And we got the uh, f differential, rear differential, front differential, all, all metal. Everything's metal on here, strong metal frame on the, uh, on the chassis that we built here. Metal bumpers coming all the way out to here. These are plastic, the, the actual bumpers on the front and the on the front on the actual very ends these are plastic but the mounts for the bumpers are all are all metal front and rear so it's really nice really detailed and honestly it looks very much very much like the original uh, Tamiya I left this open there is actually a cover for this I left it open just because I wanted to be able to get to the electronics but you can cover that up I don't have that um, that cover on there right now um, so this is a really, really nice truck. We can see the uh, the detail here on, on the front. And you can get a light kit that goes in here. This one doesn't have a light kit. Realistic headlights, indicators, um, side running lights. Same on the rear. Very nicely detailed light set. Um, Toyota Bruiser, it says on the back there. We did this sticker ourselves, rather than using the Toyato one. And... Um, it's got this interesting orange interior, but um, you know, if you really wanted to get into super scale detail with this, you could uh, get in there and uh, and paint that also. Uh, the body goes on just like on the on the original Bruiser, with a three mount system: two mounts in the rear, one in the front, and uh, you just got to nicely, gently. I don't want to really just got to pull the bottom just a tiny little bit to get it to seat and then the front goes on like that so we'll turn the radio on and I'll reach in We've got a little access hatch on the back here where you can reach in to the electronics and uh, we are ready to uh, ready to go um, so like I say it's got a free speed transmission in here I'll show you on the on the remote here, we've got um, we've got 
low speed four wheel drive low speed two wheel drive which is what it's in now in the middle and then we've got high speed two wheel drive so i can demonstrate that now with the truck off the ground so right now it's in just make sure i've got hold of us firmly here we're in low speed two wheel drive if we go up you hear the servo moved and it's dropped into gear there now we're in high speed two wheel drive let it stop servo moved i don't know if you heard it there so now it's back in low speed two wheel drive and now we drop it down and now we've engaged low speed four wheel drive so all four wheels are turning there so really cool um i really like that system i'm going to pop it back into low speed two wheel drive there we go and we'll put it on the ground and we'll see we'll see how she runs so we're going to stand up here we'll take a step forward okay i'm not very scaled there i'm going to make sure the body's on straight it's not quite on straight there we go and uh so this is full speed at low speed two wheel drive so she doesn't go super fast well it's meant to be a crawler but of course getting all the little obstacles like this curb here is uh the front bumpers catching there a little bit and we threw the body off there let's step forward that is a real i need to put the body clips on here perhaps i don't want to damage this body it's kind of crashing me there after all the effort I put into this truck. So we'll just go easy with it. Get the body seated back on here now. There we go. We'll go across the grass here in a scale manner. And then we can switch it up to the high speed. So this is full speed now. So that's about double the speed of what it is when she's on two-wheel drive low. And go straight to reverse, of course. Just straighten the body up again. I'll put the clips on if it doesn't move like that. So, this is a full speed you're gonna get out of this vehicle, but it looks so cool out there in the parking lot on a nice sunny day here in Houston. Come to a stop. I don't like switching the transmission on the fly. Go to two wheel drive low, and now we've gone into four wheel drive low. You can't really tell that you're in four wheel drive low until you start to go over obstacles. Uh, and then you really notice that you've got the front wheels are working as well as just the back wheels. So it does transition over obstacles much better when it's in uh, the four wheel drive, four wheel drive low position. Back into the default position, two wheel drive low, and we'll bring it back over here and we'll wrap up. So, if you're looking for something to remind you of the original Tamiya Bruiser or the Tamiya Bruiser, they have re released it recently. You can still buy it from Tamiya, but the price is uh, putting you off at $800. It would put me off. Um, then, uh, this is perhaps something you can consider. These are readily available online both from retailers here in the US and also from overseas so check it out you're going to pay about 250 275 for the kit or you're going to pay about I've seen them about 325 350 for the ready to run I don't like the ready to run because it didn't have the kind of uh, electronics in there that I wanted so I went with uh, with a different one so um check us out next time and uh, we'll be posting more videos in the next few days. But thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.